Welcome back in, LG. That's me. We got a hoop about to happen right here. Hill Fieldhouse, South Campus. Morgan State University, the orange and blue of MSU on the home hardwood. About to see if they can deal with the boys from Dorm, Dorm, North Carolina. The Eagles of North Carolina Central, three-time defending MEAC tournament champions. As a matter of fact, they've won four of the last six championships in the Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference. Boys from the shore, simply put, uh, they've been getting it done. Uh, those dorm dudes know how to get it done in the MEAC. Morgan looking to see if they can make a little something happen against the boys from North Carolina Central who have beaten Morgan 11 consecutive times. And, yes, you heard me correctly, 11 times in a row. It's been a while since the Bears have been able to claim victory over NCCU. Just another piece of the excellent job done by their head coach, Lavelle Moten, who has been the most accomplished coach in the MEAC by far over the past decade. The Bears hoping to see if they can do a little damage against Mr. Moten. Stanley Davis Jr. I am 6'5, I am 205, I'm a senior, Chester PA, Chester High School. The Morgan Senior to the top, lays it out of hand, gets the bucket, draws the ball. Seth Davis to the free roller, he looks to complete the three point play. And guard. My name is Sherwin Devonis Prince Jr., 6 feet. 190, sophomore. I'm from Blainsburg, Maryland. And the hospital I went to was Dr. Henry A. Wise Jr. Hospital. Three on the way. Knocks down the money triple. Sherwin Devin is Prince. At guard. My name is Malik Miller. I'm 6'4". I'm 190. I'm a sophomore for Washington, D.C. And I'm with the Friendship Tech Truck. Malik strokes the three ball. Baseline right side. His first tray of the day. At forward. My name is Troy Baxter from Tallahassee, Florida, in high school. Osmar Christian. Troy for three. Knocks down the three ball. Troy Baxter buries the ball. At forward. My name is Jamal Brown. I'm 6'9, 250. I'm a senior from Harlem, New York. The high school I went to is Wings Academy. Jamal Brown with the two hand stuff. Morgan extends the lead. There you have it, five on the floor for the orange and the blue of Morgan State University, Jamar Brown, Troy Baxter, Malik Miller, Sherwin Devonis Prince, Stanley Davis. As for the worthy opposition, the North Carolina Central Eagles, this is how they plan to line up on this Monday night in the backcourt. Will be Jordan Perkins, six foot one inch, 190 pound junior from Greensboro, North Carolina. He'll be joined in the backcourt by the junior guard from Hyde Park, Massachusetts, Devin Palmer, 6'4", 180. And completing the three-guard rotation will be the Richard sophomore from Bowie, Maryland. Nick Fennell, the 6'3", inch sophomore, will be in that backcourt. On the low block will be the 6'6", inch sophomore from Chesapeake, Virginia, Justin Whaley. And rounding out the starting five for the boys from Dorm, North Carolina, will be the leading score, 19.3 a game. Leading rebounder, 9.1 a game. The Red Shirt Senior from Pittsburgh, PA. The Cleveland State transfer, the son of football Hall of Famer Mel Blunt, Jabri Blunt. It'll be Blunt, Palmer, Perkins, Whaley, Fennell. Party time, Hill Fieldhouse, South Campus, Morgan State University. Number two team in the MEAC, NCCU, against the number four team in the MEAC. Morgan State University, opening tap of the evening is in the air. Ball game is underway. First bounce of the ball game. It belongs to the Bears. Let's ball, y'all. Morgan State, North Carolina Central. In the half court, Morgan goes to work. On the bounce left hand, Stanley Davis. Wait a minute, the clock didn't move. That seems to happen every game, Coach Jimmy Fly. 
<laughs> Especially the game. opening possession. I get all pumped up and everything, man. I think know. the game's going to start. Then the clock don't move. Now I got to get pumped up again. I can do uh, that, though. Yeah, I had this game circled a long time ago. Here we go. I think the clock's working now. Bears going to have the first touch of the ball game. Morgan looking to go to work in the half court. On the bounce right hand is Sherwin Devner's prince, and the clock still not working, so I guess I'm going to have to get pumped up a third time. I can get pumped up all night. I can keep on doing this. What's that yeah, What's yeah. that song? Pump, 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 pump me up. Pump it up, yeah. <laughs> so once they get the clock situated, we're going to actually have a basketball game here. And, so. and we got Mark Gray stepping in here, so you know he's pumped up. I wonder if he paid to get in. That's what I want to know, man. I don't see his media yeah. pass. Where you, oh, here it is. Okay. There he is. Checking his credentials, making sure he's legit. Okay, let's go. Uh, let's ball, y'all. Morgan State. North Carolina Central. Bears go to work in the half court on the wing left side. Troy Baxter. Left of the lane, Jamar Brown. Brown, one bounce on the block. He'll lay it up right hand. Drops the opening deuce of the night. Jabbar Brown has the Bears on the board. Morgan off to the early 2-0 lead. Well, Brown has developed that little drop step move with the baby hook behind it. Good opening possession for Morgan State. In the half court, Devin Palmer goes to work. His shot blocked by the high-flying Troy yeah. Baxter. He swatters it into the third row. Oh, I think that almost went out the door to the exit. <laughs> exit stage left. That, that, LG, that, that's a volleyball spike. You don't, you don't see that kind of blocking and dunking just anywhere. Ball goes out of bounds. It'll be NCCU possession off the entry. Devin Palmer controls. Baseline right. Spin move along the baseline. Palmer goes up top with the rock for Jordan Perkins. Perkins on the bounce right hand. Perkins gives it up. Gets it back. Jordan dribbles left of the lane. Feeds Blunt. Jabri Blunt gives it back up. Two to shoot. One to shoot. I don't think they're going to shoot. Did they get the shot off? They're going to say yeah. They got the shot off. Deuce falls. We're tied at two and two. But Perkins just able to get it off his fingertips and finish it 15-footer for Central. Jordan Perkins ties the ball game up. Morgan State goes back to work in the half court. Davis bounce pass to Jamar Brown. Brown, baseline left. He backs in, couple of dribbles in the paint. Picks up the pill, feeds the cutting. Troy Baxter loses the rock, a whistle. Going to get a hat. Starts play at the 1832 mark. Going to get Morgan State for the personal player control on Morgan's Troy Baxter. Picks up his first, team's first. Well, they got cutters. Anytime it goes into the post, you had two cutters. Baxter was a third, but Brown's got to use a counter move. And it's the first time he went with the baby hook to the right hand, now spin back to the left hand and go power game on that left block. Full court pressure, orange and blue. Central looks to walk it in. With the inbound, Jordan Perkins controls. That's the junior from Greensboro. Perkins on the bounce left hand, operates between the circles, picked up by Morgan State's Sherwin Devin and Sprint. Jordan around the perimeter, handoff, Devin Palmer. Palmer around the perimeter, has it on the wing right side on the bounce left hand. Goes up top with the pill, Justin Whaley. Whaley will feed the wing, Jordan Perkins. Six on the shot clock. He'll go left wing with the rock for Ty Graves. Lays it up right hand, high off glass, no good. Rebound Graves, put back is good. Deuce falls for Jabri Blunt. Gets his first deuce of the night. 4-2 lead for NCCU. Blunt all over the offensive glass. Morgan State got to help on the dribble penetration. On the other end, Bears turn it over. Justin Whaley with the steal for NCCU. Here come the Eagles. Jordan Perkins feeds up top. Palmer. Devin for three. Deep three ball. A brick. Rebound. Blunt puts it back up and in. Left hand put back by Jabri Blunt. Extends the lead for Central. To six to two. But that's the second possession. Nobody boxing out Blunt. He ran from the baseline in the corner to the rim unattended. On the other end, orange and blue go to work. Sherman Devin is Prince is the Morgan State sophomore. He's on the bounce left hand, goes up top. Stanley Davis. Davis on the bounce down the lane. We get a whistle. Gonna get a hop. Gonna work beneath the rack. Gonna work against Devin Palmer of NCCU. Palmer picks up his first, team's first. Non-shooting foul, Morgan will inbound. Going to put 20 on the shot clock. 17-16, first half game clock. 6-2, eagle lead off the entry. Sherman, Devin, is Prince. Morgan State sophomore up top, Jamar Brown. Brown between the circles. On the dribble left hand, he'll leave it on the wing, Malik Miller. The Morgan sophomore, cross-court skip, Sherwin, Devin, is Prince. Entry pass, Jamar Brown. Got a good whistle and a travel. Picked up the pivot foot. Jamar Brown will turn it over. It'll be Eagle basketball. And Morgan State right into the full court pressure with Stanley Davis on the inbounder. 
Back the other way will be the Eagles of NCCU as the Bears are going to pick up full court defensive pressure. Jabri Blunt will walk it up, finds Jordan Perkins. Perkins gets it across the timeline, operates in the half court. Perkins on the back to the right hand, has the top of the circle. Perkins left of the lane. Perkins goes baseline, the kick up top. Blunt, Blunt open for three, takes the triple. Back rim, too strong, no good. Offensive rebound, Devin Palmer. He buries the corner pocket three. Devin Palmer with his first field goal of the evening. Eagles have the early 9-2 lead over Morgan State. Stanley Davis laid on that closeout. Morgan State paid for it. On the other end, Eagles get the steal. Left to right, here comes NCCU. Devin Palmer goes baseline. Jabri Blunt. Blunt backs in against Morgan State. Troy Baxter. Blunt lays it up. Blunt by Baxter. Ball out of bounds. Off of Blunt. That's the best shot blocker on the block in the MEAC. With another swat, it'll be their basketball. Blunt trying to get physical, putting that left shoulder in the back of his chest, but because of his leaping ability, he can back off and still recover, make a play, which he did with the block. Early in this one, Eagles off the box with a bang. They have a 9-2 to two lead. Morgan has the rock with a walk up. Malik Miller operates in the half court. A trap at half court. Finds Devin as Prince. He'll give it up to a cutting Stanley Davis. Ball lost out of bounds. Unforced error. That's a Morgan turnover. It'll be NCCU basketball. Morgan State sloppy in his opening uh, three or four minutes, LG, on the offensive end. A couple turnovers, loose plays, other than the Jabari uh, little baby right-hand hook. They really haven't got anything going on the offensive well, end. Well, Morgan's going to take one shot. That Jamar Brown shot was the only shot they've taken. NCCU has taken nine. They're four of nine from the field. They have the nine to two lead. In the half court, Eagles go to work. On the low block, that's Jabri Blunt. His shot blocked by David Syfax, but a whistle got to get a hack. Blunt draws contact. He'll be at the free throw line, but not before we get a timeout. Let's step aside. Timeout comes, 15-53 remaining. Opening half of play as we step aside. Your school. North Carolina Central Eagles 9. Morgan State University Bears 2. We're back right after this. You're listening to Morgan State University basketball on HSR, the voice of choice. Morgan State University Radio, this is the MEAC Digital Network on Flow Hoops. Ahead of time, because once he catches it, he's going to finish. On the other end, Bears go to work. Up top, Isaiah Burke. Sophomore between the circles. Burke sets up Morgan half-court offense. He's on the bounce with the left hand. Picks up the pill, goes high block for Troy Baxter. Troy on the wing for Burke. One dribble, pulls the trigger on the triple. Knocks down the three ball. Isaiah Burke buries the ball. Morgan cuts the gap to 10-5. to five. Well, Morgan needed that to get him going. Good screen by Baxter to free up Burke. On the other end, Eagles go to work. Top of the key, three. Devin Palmer strokes the triple. Palmer coming off a 21-point night on the west side against Coppin. Hits the top of the key, three. His second tray of the day, 13-5 to five is the Eagle lead. He apparently likes the rims in Baltimore, LG. It doesn't matter, east or west side. On the other end. Here come the Bears. Baseline side facts. The Morgan senior spins, faces the basket. He'll lay it up right hand. Block down low. Gets his own. Put back off target. But a whistle going to get a hack. Beneath the hole. Going to work against the Eagles. Going to get Justin Whaley for the personal to be his first. Team foul number two going to put David Sidefax at the free throw line. David going to be shooting a pair for the Bears. I talked about it in the opening, LG, playing with four Syfax going into two central defenders, going hard. They block his first attempt. He's able to recover, recover, gather himself, and then go reverse, pick up the foul, knocks down that first free throw. But if you're going to beat central, you better play. You better meet their level of physicality because if you don't, they'll run you over. North Carolina Central team that is used to stacking up the W's. As Morgan State's David Sidefax 
able to hit the free throws. 13 to 7. That's the central lead over Morgan. We got 14 to 42 remaining opening half. On the other end, central goes to work. Devin Pomp feeds the wing, right wing, Jason Whaley. Whaley will give it up top of the key. Jabri Blunt, Blunt on the bounce left hand. Spin move in the paint. Jabri lays it up back. The rim won't go. A whistle. Going to get a hack on the low block. Will work beneath the rack. Works against Morgan Blunt. We're on another trip to the free throw line with 14 28 remaining. Well, you, you see the versatility in Blunt's offensive game. He opened the game up on the right hand block, got a couple layups and fouls. This time he's pulled out to the free throw line. He makes a nice spin move in the lane and then finishes with force again as Syfax got him on the arm. Jabri takes, Jabri Blunt makes the free throw. He'll have one more, increases the lead to 14 to 7. North Carolina Central over Morgan State. Second free throw is good by Blunt. He's two for two for the free throw line. 15 to 7. That's the Eagle lead. We've got 14 26 remaining opening half. Other end Morgan. Along the baseline, David Safak steps on the sideline. Safak turns it over. It'll be NCCU basketball. Eagles will inbound and come back the other way. North Carolina Central Eagles have the eight-point lead and the basketball. And these teams are mirror images. They press, they run good half-court sets with a lot of back cuts, but right now Central's doing it more, be uh, executing better than the Bears. In half-court, Eagles go to work on the bounce left hand. Jordan Perkins picks it up to Reed Blunt, top of the key three. Front rim, off target, rebound. David Syfax, outlet, Isaiah Burke, right to left, and the Bears. In the half court, Malik Miller on the bounce right hand. Hello, cross court, Isaiah Burke, sophomore, will run the ship from the point. He'll give it up top of the key to David Syfax. Syfax on the wing. Malik Miller, 15 to shoot. 13 50 remaining in the opening half. Morgan with the basketball, Morgan down 15 to 7. Bears turn it over. Jordan Perkins with the steal. Perkins has the ball poked away. He retrieves, operates in the half court on the bounce right hand. 20 seconds to shoot, 13-30 remaining in the half. Eagles on top by eight. Eagles with the rock. Perkins to the cup. Shot blocked backside. Goes sailing out of bounds. It'll be Eagle basketball. NCCU will inbound with 14 to shoot, 13-29 remaining opening half. A good job by Miller not giving up on the play, coming back from the help side, getting the block. Off the entry, Jabri Blunt. He attacks in the paint. We're going to get a whistle. And let's see, jump ball, alternate arrow. No, they're going to get five. Wow, going to get Morgan's Lazio Grants. Grants picks up his first. But Blunt, he's the aggressor right now. Every time he gets the ball, he's putting it on a deck and going right into the chest of Morgan defenders and just knocking them out of the way. Jordan Perk is off the entry. Jabri Blunt, Blunt on the bounce right hand. We got a whistle and we got an offensive foul. But maybe a little too aggressive that time. Player control personal on Jabri Blunt. That'll be his first. Team's third. It'll be Bear basketball. Orange and blue with the walk up in the half court. That's Morgan State's Isaiah Burke. Up top, Malik Miller. He attacks. Bounce pass. Baseline. Grants and lays it up. Rims out. Won't go. Rebound Devin Palmer. Eagles back the other way, left to right. Perkins goes baseline with it. Three on the way. Wait a minute. Step on the sideline. That's turnover. No three ball for Ty Graves, the junior from G Burl. It'll be Bear basketball. As you see how quickly Central gets the ball up and transition off the turnover or miss, and they're lining guys up in that corner and looking for him. Morgan State with the walk up in the half court. Ties Malik Campbell. Who up top? Malik Miller. Morgan resets the offense. 12:55 remaining in the opening half. Morgan against Central. It's 15-7. North Carolina Central lead. Morgan has the basketball. David Southfax feeds the wing right wing. Deep three ball. Burke. Ribs out. Won't go. Rebound Morgan. Ball loose on the floor. Retrieved by NCCU. Ty Graves ahead to Jordan Perkins. Perkins on the bounce left hand. Goes baseline. Devin Palmer. Three on the way. Drops the triple. Baseline left side for oh. Devin Palmer. His third tray of the day. Eagles up 18-7. to seven. And they're running Palmer to the corner right over left in transition and they're looking for the pass ahead to get him the basketball other end morgan bears down 11 work to do with 12 17 remaining in the opening in the half court malik miller controls for the bears baseline left 
That's David Sapak. Spots up. 15-footer. Too strong. Back rim. No good. Weeks out rebound. Devin Palmer left to right. Here come the Eagles. 11-point lead and the basketball. Jordan Perkins in the half court. Spots up. 10-foot floater. Rims out. Won't go. Rebound collected by Morgan State's Malik Miller. Bears come back the other way. In the half court, Morgan goes to work on the bounce left hand. That's the Bears' eyes there. Burke up top. Lazio grants it around the perimeter for Malik Miller. Operate between the circles. He'll feed Isaiah Burke. 15 to shoot. 11.40 remaining in the half. Up top, side facts on the bounce right hand. David will feed the wing. That's Campbell. His three on the way. Won't go, but a whistle. A foul. Going to get Devin Palmer for the personal. That will be his second team's fourth. We're going to get a timeout. Let's step aside. Timeout comes with 11.32 remaining opening half. As we step aside, your score. North Carolina Central 18. Morgan State 7. Back right after this, you're listening to Morgan State University Basketball on the MEAC Digital Network and Flow Hoops. Out with the physicality, they've been the more aggressive team in the uh, first eight and a half minutes of this ball game. Morgan State, they need to settle down get into their offense, execute on that end of the floor. Off timeout, let's get back to the hardwood. The Morgan freshman from Philly, Taj Malik Campbell at the free throw line. Campbell takes, Campbell makes the free throw. Taj Malik Campbell will have one more coming his way. Effective game over the weekend to help the Bears beat UMES on Saturday. Taj Malik Campbell going to be shooting three free throws as he was fouled while shooting a three. Hits the first two. Campbell got one more coming. Cuts the North Carolina Central lead to 18 to 9. Make it 18 to 10 as Campbell was 3 for 3 from the free throw line. Eight point lead for the Eagles. It'll be NCCU basketball. They will walk it up with 11 32 remaining opening half. For the walk up, Eagles operate in the half court. Mike Melvin. The junior from Fayetteville going to give it up on the wing. Melvin controls right wing. Bounce pass on the low block for Claiborne. He'll kick it up top for Jabri Blount. Knocks down the deuce. Foot on the line for Blount. He has seven first half points. Eagles up 20, 18, 20 to 10. Well, Raggio didn't really, uh, Lazio, excuse me, didn't really close out hard on Blunt, probably because of the drives he's done early in this game. In the half court, Morgan goes to work. Isaiah Burke feeds Peter Sorber. Sorber picks it up. Back to Burke. Ten to shoot. Isaiah around the screen. Gives it up. Stanley Davis. Five to shoot. Davis on the bounce left hand. Top of the key. Three. Rims out. Won't go. Rebound corralled by Nick Fennell. Back to the wake of the Eagles. In the half court, NCCU Mike Melvin. Melvin on the bounce right hand. Operates between the circles. 5'11 junior. Has it on the wing. He'll go right wing for Jabri Blunt. Baseline three on the way. Nick Fennell off target. Won't go. Peter Sorbo with the rebound. Freshman with the outlet to Stanley Davis. Davis operates in the half court. Stanley feeds the baseline. That's Campbell. Shot blocked by Claiborne. Morgan resets. With 19 to shoot. 10-14 remaining in the half. Down 10 to 20 to 10. And Central going into the 2-3 zone now that they have this 10-point lead. In the half court, Lazio grants an up top. Burke on the bounce left hand. Burke goes baseline Campbell. He'll feed spin move Davis. He'll lay it up and in. Stanley Davis with his first deuce of the day. Morgan down 8 at 20 to 12. That's a senior move there. He got right into the chest of Claiborne. Chapman didn't. That's why his shot got thrown. On the other end, Eagles go to work. Mike Melvin goes baseline. He'll kick it. Along the baseline to Fennell, top of the key, Jabri Blunt. Blunt on the bounce, left hand, Jabri dribbles the lane. Travel by Jabri Blunt. Turns over the rock. It'll be Bear basketball. Yeah, they haven't posted him up the last few possessions. Blunt has been facing up at the top of the key, looking to take it off the bounce. It'll be Bear ball. Morgan will inbound. Orange Blue going to come back the other way, down eight, 20 to 12. North Carolina Central lead, 9.30 remaining over the half. Stanley Davis to the cup. Lays it up, won't go. Put back by Peter Sorber is good. First deuce for the freshman. Morgan cuts the gap to 20-14. to 
Well, the only starter on the floor, Dave, is that time Sorbor with two hands able to get the put back. On the other end, Mike Melvin controls for the Eagles. He'll feed the wing, Jabri Blunt. He'll go across court for Claiborne around the perimeter for Melvin. Top of the key, three on the way. Off target, won't fall for Ty Gray's rebound, Bills. Morgan comes back the other way, right to left. In the half court, Isaiah Burke on the bounce left hand. Burke picks it up, feeds Granson. Lazio from deep, rims out, no good. Won't fall for Lazio Granson. Bills get the steal. That's Stanley Davis, loses the rock. He retrieves, feeds Isaiah Burke. Morgan resets. 8.42 remaining, opening half. Morgan, NCCU. Bears down a half a dozen. Morgan with the basketball. The Morgan State's starting to find some offensive rhythm on their end of the floor. Up top, that's Peter Sorbel. He'll feed Burke. We get a bump, a whistle, a hack. Going to get Mike Melvin, the junior from Fayetteville, picks up the personal. For Melvin is first. Team foul, number five on NCCU. Going to be a non-shooting foul. It's going to be Morgan State basketball. Bears will inbound with 20 to shoot, 827 remaining in the opening half. Morgan, in early going, just 4 of 12 from the field. Eagles, 7 of 17. Eagles with the six point lead off the inbound. Stanley Davis controls for Morgan. Davis on the bounce right hand. Feeds the wing, right wing. That's Isaiah Burke. Burke between the circles. Isaiah top of the key. Splits the defenders. He'll feed the paint down low. Ball loose. Ball in the paint. Bodies everywhere. We get a shot clock violation. Morgan turns it over. It'll be Eagle basketball. NCCU will inbound. Three quarter court with 8.07 remaining. Opening half. The lead is six. NCCU 20. Morgan 14. Well, Morgan's starting to pick things up and finding some openings in this central defense was not easy to do, but they're going to have to lock down better on their own defensive end of the floor. Full court pressure, Morgan. Eagles beat the pressure with the pass. Nick Canal in the half court. Feeds Blunt along the baseline. They turn it over. Was looking along the baseline for Evan Claiborne. Claiborne couldn't handle the pass. It goes out of bounds. We're going to get a timeout. Let's step aside. Timeout comes with 7.57 remaining opening half. As we step aside, your score. Eagles of NCCU 20, Morgan 14. Back after this, it's the BIAC Digital Network on Morgan State University Radio and Flow Sports. Hey, Dre. Welcome back. LG, that's me. You got the coach, Jimmy Five. You got the basketball bouncing in Baltimore. It's Morgan State. It's NCCU. The Bears and the Eagles going at it. Off the timeout. We're going to get a timeout. Looks like uh, going to be Bear basketball in the half court. Down a half a dozen at 20 to 14 to the Eagles of NCCU. Ball tapped out of bounds. It'll be Morgan inbounding. Seven on the shot clock. 7.33 remains. First half game clock. Look for Baxter going to the front of that rim on a lob with Davis on the inbound. Stanley Davis will trigger in the entry for MSU off the entry. Devin is Prince. He'll feed down low Peter Sorbor through that Nolan Ryan fastball, and Sorbor couldn't handle it. Goes out of his hands and out of bounds. That'll be a turnover. Going to be Eagle basketball. But Morgan State, with the help of their bench, LG has climbed back into this game. Two possession, six point lead for Central. And a half court, Jordan Perkins on the bounce left hand. Perkins on the wing right side around the perimeter. He goes, steps inside the lane, throws up the runner in the paint. Won't fall. Rebound, Morgan State, Stanley Davis on the run out. Here comes the senior. Davis gives it up, serving Devin as Prince. His spot up off target, back rim, won't go. Weeks out of rebound, NCCU, but we get a whistle. Going to get a hack. This foul works against Morgan. Going to get Peter Sorbler. The Morgan freshman picks up the personal. His first team's fifth. Non-shooting foul. Eagles will inbound, come back the other way. Up six at 20 to 14. And Sorber, he, he hasn't played a lot of minutes of late, but Coach uh, Broad is trusting him in this one early. Bears haven't scored the last two minutes. Eagles haven't scored the last four minutes. 
of regulation time here in the opening half. Eagles do, however, have the 20 to 14 lead. Jordan Perkins attacks the rack to the cup. He'll lay it up and in. Left hand finish by Jordan Perkins extends the lead to 22 14. They run the two bigs up to the top of the circle and set a stacked screen. The guard can pick which way he wants to go. In the half court, Bears go to work. Stanley Davis is the senior up top. Sherwin Devin is Prince. SDP on the bounce right hand operates between the circles. High block, Peter Sorbel. Freshman goes left wing, Devin is Prince. 11 to shoot. Back to Sorbel. He'll feed top of the key. Granson, deep three ball. Off window and in. Bellagio lock and load. Granson drops the three ball. Morgan Clowns are within 22 17. Granson said, I'll take that. That backboard stopped it from going into the stands. On the other end, Eagles go to work. Jordan Perkins. On the bounce right hand, he'll feed the wing, Jabri Blount. Up top, Jason Whaley. Left wing, Nick Finnell. Top of the key, three is on the way. That's off target front wing, no good. Won't fall for Ty Graves. Bears board, Morgan comes back the other way. And the half court, Stanley Davis. The Morgan senior in the lane, feeds down low, Peter Sorbo. He'll lay it up, it won't fall, it's blocked. Here come the Eagles, left to right. NCCU is on the move. Along the baseline, right side, Graves, a whistle. Oh, offensive foul. Push off. By Ty Grays, picks up his first, team's sixth. Stops the clock at the 535 mark, opening half. Eagles 22, Morgan 17. Well, that's just good defense by Grandison Grays, five, uh, six, six, three guard, but his quickness, Grandison able to know where he's going, get there before he got there. With the walk up, here come the Bears. Half court, Sherwin Devin is Prince. Bounce right hand up top, Stanley Davis. Split the defenders to kick baseline Baxter. Three on the way. Yes, sir. Troy Baxter buries the ball. Corner pocket, left side. First triple of the evening for the junior. Morgan climbs to within a deuce. Forces LaBelle Moat into a timeout. The Eagles see their lead dip to two. Morgan on a 6 nothing run. Eagles one of their last five from the field. Morgan on a 10 to two run. Over the last 5.54 of this opening half, Morgan down by Deuce Coast Jimmy Fly at 22.20. Well, the momentum in this game has shifted. Ongoing, the MEAC, educating student athletes for the game of life. In the Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference, success for our student athletes isn't just measured by wins and losses, points on the scoreboard, or individual. Blocked by Troy Baxter. Ball goes sailing out of bounds. Block number three by my count for the Morgan Junior, Troy Baxter. And I, I, you got to give him like a 9.8 on style points on that block. He's so high up there, you know, hello to the backboard. On the other end, Eagles go to work. 10 to shoot. Nick Fennell feeds high block. Jabri. Jabri Blunt, one dribble. Spots up for the jumper. Rides rim, won't go. Tip, no good. Rebound, Lazio Granson. Pick on the Bears, right to left. Sherman Devin is Prince. Feeds Malik Miller. Baseline left. He'll go up top. SDP, the Morgan sophomore. Dribbles top of the key on the bounce left hand with 437 remaining in the opening half. Morgan with the basketball. North Carolina Central with a 22 20 lead. Up top, Stanley Davis, 10 on the shot clock. Davis on the bounce, right hand. Feeds low block, ball tipped out of bounds. Last touch by the Eagles. It'll be Bear basketball. Morgan will inbound with seven to shoot. Yeah, Davis telegraphing the pass here. When he breaks that free throw line, he's got to get set, pull up, take that little 10 footer. Sherwood, Devin is Prince down the lane, scoop to the hoop, won't go. But contact, the whistle, a hack. Gonna work against Ty Graves of the Eagles, stops the clock. At the 422 mark, Graves picks up his second. Team foul number seven on the Eagles. At the free throw line, Sherwin Devin is Prince. The Morgan State sophomore going to be shooting two. He's got a chance, LG, to tie this game up after Morgan State down 10 early. SDP will take and make the first of two free throws. Sherwin Devin is Prince has his first point of the night. Morgan getting scoring from one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten different players. Nobody with more than three points. But Bears is down one at 22 21. Two for two from the free throw line for SDP. That's that jazz ensemble I was telling you about at the start of the game. 
Back the other way come the Eagles. We're deadlocked to 22 and 22. We are brand new as the Eagles go to work in the half court. That's Jordan Perkins. Perkins in the lane. Perkins lays it up. Left hand won't go. A whistle, a blocking foul. Going to work beneath the rack. Going to work against Sherwin Devonish Prince. Picks up his first, team six. Jordan Perkins will be at the free throw line where he's shooting 70% on the season. He'll be shooting two for NCCU. But that's that meet and force with force. Devin is Prince not backing off. Perkins actually could have cut call for an arm bar. Didn't. But Devin is Prince staying with his chest and nose in the play. Perkins, though, able to draw the foul for Central. Takes and makes the first free throw is Jordan Perkins. He's working on a five-point first half. Eagles reclaim the lead of 23-22. Jordan Perkins got one more free throw coming his way. Perkins misfires on the second toss. The lead remains one. Eagles 23, Bears 22. Morgan State down one. They have the rock in the half court. Sherwin Devonish Prince is on the bounce left hand. Feeds the wing. That's Malik Miller. The Morgan sophomore gives it right back up to STP between the circles. Handoff Davis on the weave. Miller, Malik between the circles on the bounce right hand. Throws it right wing to SDP. Eight on the shot clock. Top of the key. Malik Miller, he attacks to the cup. Stripped to the rock. Ball out of bounds. Last touch by the Eagles. It'll be Bear basketball. Morgan will inbound. Four to shoot. 340 remaining in the half. Morgan down one at 23-22. Stanley Davis will inbound, but a pause in play. The officials step in. We're going to step away. We're going to get a timeout. Let's step aside with 340 remaining opening half. As we step aside, your score. North Carolina Central 23, Morgan State 22. You're listening to Morgan State University Radio and the MEAC Digital Network in Flow Sports. We're back right after this. One to 23, 22. Off timeout, Bear basketball. Morgan inbound, four to shoot. Devin is Prince, spots up, three ball, blocked by the Eagles. NCCU back the other way. Jordan Perkins in the half court. He'll feed a trailing Devin Palmer. Palmer on the wing left side, on the bounce left hand. Quick move baseline, pulls up for the jumper, knocks down the deuce. Devin Palmer working on an 11 point first half. Eagles extend the lead to three at 25, 22. Palmer's been feeling it with his jump shot this whole first half. Devin Palmer, four of six from the field. Other end, Morgan. In the half court, that's Baxter. He'll feed the wing, Stanley Davis. Davis up top, Malik Miller. He'll hand off SDP, open for three, takes it. Back rim, no good. Rebound, Jabri Blount. Here come the Eagles left to right. Jordan Perkins on the move. He'll feed a trailing Blount, gives it up in the paint. Left-hand runner, no good. Rebound, Morgan. Runner wouldn't fall for Jason Whaley. Bears board, come back the other way. In the half court, Sherwin Devin is Prince. He'll feed the wing, Malik Miller, up top, SDP. Morgan goes to work in the half court set with 2.35 remaining in the half. Morgan trails by three at 25-22. Devin is Prince on the bounce right hand. Hands off, Stanley Davis. He'll spot up, 12-footer. Won't go, but a whistle. Going to get a hat, going to get Jordan Perkins. His first. Team's seventh. Going to put Stanley Davis at the stripe. The Morgan senior will be shooting a pair. And that's one of the two areas that kept Morgan in this game so far, LG. Uh, Morgan 7-7 seven seven from the free throw line. They have not missed 13-0 to zero in bench points. Their bench is what got them back in this game about midway through the first half. Stanley Davis, slight knee bend, takes and makes the first free throw. Davis will have another 81% stroker from the stripe on the season. Is the Morgan State University senior. Three-point first half for Stanley Davis. He'll have one more toss coming his way at the 228 mark of the first half. Morgan down the deuce with 25-24. Second free throw for Stanley Davis. Takes aim, slight knee bend, takes it, makes it. Two for two from the strike for Davis. Morgan down one, 25-24. Eagles of NCCU, they have the basketball. With the walk up, here comes Jordan Perkins. Junior gets it across the timeline. Perkins operates in the half court. On the weave, he gets it back. Perkins goes high block to Bree Blunt. Blunt, spin move in the lane, a whistle, a walk. 
picked up the pivot. Jordan Perkins, uh, Jabri Blunt going to turn it over. It'll be Bear basketball. Well, Blunt saw the freshman Chap Chapman on the weak side helping, but Chapman able to hold his ground, forcing him to spin back, causing a turnover. Other end, Bears. Isaiah Burke is the sophomore. He'll get it across the timeline. Morgan goes to work in the half court set. We approach two minutes remaining before halftime. Isaiah Burke on the wing left side. Gives it up, Taj Malik Campbell. The freshman goes baseline with it for Stanley Davis. Davis backs in, ball poked away. He retrieves in the lane. We get a whistle, we get a walk on Stanley Davis. He turns it over. It'll be Eagle basketball. Yeah, he covered about 10 feet there. <laughs> like, yeah, there's about three steps in there somewhere. Here come the Eagles back the other way. Jordan Perkins will walk it up. Eagles nursing a one-point lead with 142 remaining in the first half. Jordan Perkins on the bounce left hand. Operates on the wing left side. Perkins attacks the baseline. He'll give it up, looking for help up top. Top of the key, three for Whaley. Off target, rebound. Morgan State's Lagio Granson. Look at the Bears right to left, minute 20. Remaining before intermission. Morgan's down one at 25-24. Morgan is going to get a timeout. Head coach is Kevin Brodish, first year head man in charge. Wants to talk it over with the fellas. We're going to keep it right here. Morgan State, North Carolina Central on a MEAC Monday. Hill Fieldhouse, South Campus, Morgan State University on Morgan State University Radio. Morgan State on the MEAC Digital Network on this Monday. It's a flow sports thing. Morgan against the Eagles of NCCU. One point ball game, Coach Jimmy Fly. Eagles 25, Morgan 24. Well, Coach Brodus, he wants to get a good offensive set right here, right now, because he has a chance for Morgan State to take the lead uh, for the first time in this game uh, since uh, Brown hit that opening little baby hook shot. Look for back cuts. They like to run back cuts out of timeouts, especially if Central comes out in man to man. Off timeout, we get back to the hardwood. Going to be Bear basketball. Morgan will inbound out of the stack. Malik Miller triggers in the entry. Spots Lagio Granson. The Morgan Jr. on the bounce left hand operates between the circles. 15 to shoot, minute 15 remaining in the half. Malik Miller on the block. Lays it up right hand, won't go. Rebound, weak side, corralled by Jason Whaley, NCCU. Eagles left to right, they come back the other way, looking to extend their one-point lead. Ty Graves on top, Jordan Perkins on the bounce right hand. Top of the key, Jason Whaley, right wing Perkins. Perkins on the bounce with the left hand. 15 to shoot, 55 seconds remaining before intermission. Inside the arc, Perkins with the spot up, won't go. Rebound, Morgan State, Taz Malik Campbell. He cleans glass, collects the camera, Morgan with the walk up. Bears operate in the half court with 40 seconds remaining before intermission. Up top, Campbell. He'll spot Davis. Spin move, left of the lane. Leads in, lays it up. A pass, won't go. Rebound, Jabri Blunt. Eagles will come back the other way, left to right. Got a second differential between game and shot clock. Eagles could hold for essentially the final shot of the half. Up one at 25-24. Jordan Perkins just chilling with the pill between the circles. He's on the bounce right hand. Ten seconds remaining in the half. Feeds Jason Whaley, top of the key. Five seconds, Whaley to Perkins. Perkins steps inside the arc. Goes baseline, his runner blocked. Ball out of bounds. Shot clock expires. It'll be a turnover. It'll be Bear basketball. That's the freshman Chapman, Chapman helping off on Perkins' drive. He's left-handed. He's done that three or four times. Got layups. But Perkins at 6'5", able to stop that penetration. That's it. Buzzer. First half in the bank. Morgan State, North Carolina Central. Seesaw back and forth affair between two teams considering themselves Titans in the MEAC. Both are on rolls. Both have won four in a row. But somebody's 4-0 and got to go tonight as uh, we got a close one as we have reached intermission coach Jimmy Fly. Eagles up one at 25-24. Well, I expect more of the same in the second half. This is going to be a tight, physical, um, execution, possession-style ball game. Whoever comes out, especially in that opening five minutes, maybe get a little run, get a little separation on one or the other. It's going to go a long way for them winning this ball game. The Morgan State weathered the storm early, got back into this. They got to feel good going in the locker room just down one point when Central basically controlled the pace in this whole first half. And the first half for Morgan, the leading scorer, 
Oh, well, really nobody. Let's see. You got, well, you got Stanley Davis with four first half points. Then you got one, two, three, four Bears with three apiece. And uh, one, two, three Bears with two apiece. So the Bears have spread the charity offensively uh, to almost everybody on the roster. Everybody who has played has scored except. Dribbles around the key to Jabri Block. He walks with the rock. Jabri turns it over on the travel. It'll be Morgan State basketball. That's his third travel this game. When he's got the ball facing the basket, he's not been as, as effective as he has been down low on the block when he can play bully basketball. And the half court Pierce go to work. Malik Miller on the bounce left hand. Sophomore turns it over. Stolen by Jordan Perkins. Perkins on the move. Right to left. To the cup. Shot blocked by Malik Miller. Here come the Bears the other way. Devonish Prince attacks to the cup. He'll lay it up and in. Devonish Prince with the deuce. Morgan back on top, 26-25. That was a tag team block there. Davidson Miller both getting a piece of it. Devonish Prince finishing it off in transition to pull Morgan up by one. On the other end, Eagles go to work. On the, we on the wing left side, Devin Palmer up top, Nick Fennell. He'll give it up, Justin Whaley. Ball above head, hands off to Palmer, five to shoot. Palmer, deep three ball. Back rim, no good. Rebound, Malik Miller. Here come the Bears with the run out. Malik on the move to the cup. He'll lay it up and in. That's a deuce for Malik Miller. His first deuce of the day. Morgan up 28-25. And my, right now, LG Morgan State getting the first bloody body blow early in the second half. And the half court Eagles go to work. Down low, Jabri Blunt going to get a foul backside on the Morgan big boy. Jamar Brown picks up his first team's first. And that's what I said, post up Blunt that time. It, right in the middle of the lane, he had Brown back down below the restricted area. There wasn't anything he could do but reach over and foul. Jordan Perkins will trigger in the entry for the Eagles. 20 seconds on the shot clock as the Eagles inbound off the entry. Nick Fennell, he'll hand off Perkins. Jordan on the bounce right hand. He'll switch left up top, Whaley. Entry pass down low, Jabri Blunt. Blunt stripped of the rock. Ball out of bounds. We're going to get a reach and a whistle. We're going to get a hack beneath the hole. Stops the clock at the 1827 mark. Malik Miller picks up the personal. Morgan State sophomore gets his first team second. Yeah, Brown has trouble with Blunt backing him down. He doesn't have the foot speed laterally to get in front of him. And then when the lob comes to rotate back behind him. So if they're going to front him with Brown, you got to bring help from the weak side defender to cut Blunt off because he, he's a he's a monster down on that low block right now. Jabri at the free throw line. He's three or four tonight. Make it three or five. Misses the first free throw. He'll have another at the 18-27 mark. Second half. Morgan lead remains three at 28-25. Blunt second free throw. It's in route. Takes it. Makes it. One of two from the free throw line for Jabri Blount. Cuts the Morgan lead to a deuce at 28-26. Blunt has nine points on the night. Morgan has the basketball with the two-point lead. In the half court, Malik Miller. On a bounce left hand, the Morgan State sophomore between the circles. Miller leaves it high block for Jamar Brown. Brown gives it back up to Miller. Miller, left wing. Troy Baxter, eight on the shot clock. Back to Brown, top of the key, five to shoot. Baxter, long distance, three ball. Dial it up. Three ball falls for Troy Baxter. Left wing triple. Extends the Morgan lead to 31-26. Well, Blunt laid back almost. Darren Baxter to take that three. He raised up. Blunt laid out, laid on the closeout. Second triple of the evening for Baxter. Other in Eagles. On the wing right side, Nick Fennell on the bounce left hand. Fennell steps inside the arc, picks up the pill, looks for help, gives it to Blunt, almost turns it over, but Jabri retrieves in the paint, feeds down low Whaley. Reverse layup is good by Justin Whaley. His first deuce of the evening cuts the gap to 31-28. Whaley had Baxter pinned under the basket, so when he caught it, Baxter couldn't use his jumping ability to get up and challenge it. Other end, Morgan. Devin is Prince controls. On the wing left side, his spot up is sweet. The sophomore with the sweet stroke. Morgan extends the cushion to 33-28. Well, that's his money ball, that little 12 to 15 pull-up jumper off the dribble. That's what his go-to move is. Other end, Eagles. 
Jordan Perkins runs the point. He'll leave it on the wing for Jabri Blount. Blount up top, Justin Whaley. Around the perimeter, Nick Fennell. Up top, Palmer. Devin on a bounce right hand. He loses the handle. Ball retrieved by Perkins. Only seven on the shot clock. Perkins on a bounce right hand. Jordan goes baseline with it. Beneath the bucket, the ball stripped and stolen by Devin as Prince. Left to right, orange and blue. Come back the other way. Baxter to the cup. Lays it up and in. Baxter with the right hand. Finish. Morgan extends the lead to 35-28. I'd like to see that flow sport, flow sport instant replay because Baxter, he had his chin up over the rim as he was gliding to finish that finger roll. Got to get a timeout if you're Lavelle Moat, head coach of the Eagles. He takes it with 16-22. Remaining in the ball game, we'll keep it right here. Morgan State, North Carolina Central. I think this is a heavyweight fight. This is Ali Frazier, the Bears and the Eagles. Morgan with a burst coming out of the locker room. They have the 35-28 lead. Uh, it definitely is. This is a cage match. That's why I said you have to be locked in mentally and physically in this game. Central really hasn't had somebody uh, in the last few years come at them with the physical aggression. I think that Morgan State is tonight. And the one thing, LG, because they play similar styles now in Morgan State, the way they run their offense, a lot of back cuts and picking, the same thing Central does. You're used to practicing against it. So now when Central does that to you, you're already ready for it because you got to deal with it in practice. So it actually helps you to prepare to play opponent of this caliber. Coach Jimmy Fly breaking it down for you on a Monday night. Lamont Germany in the coach collectively courtside in a big time MEAC matchup on a Monday. The Bears, the Eagles, Morgan State with the 35-28 lead over NCCU. Morgan on a 13-3 run if you bridge the first half with the second half. A 13-3 run over the last seven minutes of game time for Morgan State outscoring the Eagles by 10. They now lead by seven. Off timeout. It's going to be Eagle basketball. Off the inbound, Jordan Perkins controls. Perkins on the bounce left hand. He'll leave it on the wing. Jabri Blount feeds baseline. Devin Palmer, he'll lay it up. Won't go a whistle, a hack. Jamar Brown, the junior for Morgan State, picks up his second, team's third. Well, the opening uh, play of the second half, Morgan State showed a 2-3 zone just on the first pass. They went man-to-man. -man. This time out of the timeout, they're showing a 3-2 front, and Central able to get – uh, loose on that baseline with um, Palmer to get the foul and get to the free throw line. Devin Palmer takes. Devin Palmer makes the free throw. That's the junior from Hyde Park, Massachusetts. Transfer for Tallahassee Community College. He'll have another free throw coming his way. 21 points for Palmer against Coppin on Saturday, but he misses the second free throw. The Morgan lead a half a dozen at 35-29. 16-06. Scoreboard says we're in the second half. Bears come back the other way. In the half court, SDP. Sherwin, Devin is Prince. The Morgan sophomore on the bounce left hand. SDP around the perimeter. Picks it up, goes right wing Davis. Stanley open for three. Takes it, back rim, won't fall. Rebound, Jerry Blunt. Here come the Eagles right to left. Jordan Perkins, ahead of the pack is Devin Palmer. Feeds Jason Whaley. Reverse layup is good by Jason Whaley. His fourth points all coming in the second half. Cuts the gap to four. Morgan up 35-31. Can't fall asleep if you're Morgan State's defense. you got to get back in transition. Central pushing the pace. Three ball. Troy Baxter. Won't go. Rebound. Stanley Davis. Put back. Off window. And in from Stanley Davis. Morgan the best offensive rebounding team in the MEAC. Stanley Davis with the offensive board and put back. Extends the lead to 37-31. Other in Eagles. Devin Palmer with the spot up. Yeah, looking sweet. Off the pull up, Devin Palmer drops the deuce. Cuts the gap to four, 37-33. They ran Stanley Davis off a double screen to free up Palmer, and he's just money tonight. 14-point night for Devin Palmer. Other end, Morgan. On the wing left side, Malik Miller on the bounce right hand. Up top, Stanley Davis. Davis steps inside the yard. His pull up. Side of the rim, no good. Rebound, Nick Fennell. Here come the Eagles right to left. In the half court, Jordan Perkins on the bounce right hand. Perkins on the paint. Baseline for Blunt. One dribble on the block, a whistle, a half. Beneath the rack. Stop play at the 14-37 mark. Second half. Going to get Jamar Brown. That's number three on the big boy. Let's get a timeout. We're going to step aside. Timeout comes with 14-37 remaining in the party as we step aside of your school. Morgan, 37. North Carolina Central, 33. Back after this, 
You're listening to Morgan State University Radio, watching the MEAC Digital Network on Flow Hoops. Ensure that no matter the challenge ahead, she breaks barriers. Blunt takes aim on the first of two. He'll take it. He'll make it. Jabri Blunt working on an 11-point night. He is 5 of 7 from the charity stripe tonight. Jabri will have another. Second free throw is good. He's 2 for 2 from the stripe. Eagles got the lead to 2. Morgan up a deuce at 37-35. 14 and a half remaining in the ball game. And a half court. Bears go to work. On the wing right side, Troy Baxter. Couple of bounces left hand. He'll go up top. Isaiah Burke around the perimeter. Malik Miller. Eminem on a bounce right hand. He'll go opposite wing for Burke. Leaves it on that wing for Sherwin Devonis Prince. STP pulls up for the jumper. Blocked by Jordan Perkins. Rebound. Devin Palmer. Here come the Eagles. They can tie. They can take the lead. This trip down the floor. Perkins on the bounce right hand. Jordan steps inside the arc. We get a whistle. We get an offensive foul. This will work against the Eagles. Jabri Blount trying to clear out, picks up the personal, his second. Well, Blunt gets real low when he goes for his post position. He had Baxter, who's tall and lanky, pushed into the restriction area as well, but the ref's calling a foul on that one. On the other end, Bears go to work. Baseline right side, David Syfax. Couple of dribbles, he'll kick it to Sherwin, Devin and Sprint, 15 to shoot, SDP. Pulls the trigger on the triple. Back rim off target. No good. Rebound corralled by Devin Palmer. Here come the Eagles right to left. In the half court, Jordan Perkins. He's on the bounce left hand. Perkins picks it up. Cross court. Skip pass for Palmer. Deep three on the way. Drops the three ball. From the wing right side. Devin delivers. Working on a 17-point Monday night. Eagles reclaim the lead at 38-37. Well, he's hit corner threes, wing threes, pull-up jumpers. He's feeling it. On the other end, Bears go to work up top. Burke, Isaiah, ball fake. Dribbles the paint to the lane. His shot blocked by Devin Palmer. Ball out of bounds. Last touch by Burke. That'll be a Morgan turnover. It'll be Eagle basketball. They got the ball. They got the lead. 13-10 left. We're in the second half. Eagles up 38-37. Well, last three possessions on the offense of Ember Morgan State. Devin is Prince. Two jump shots that time. Burke driving into size. Gets denied. They got to stick with their offense and get the ball inside. Eagles on a 7 nothing run as they go to work in the half court. Jason Whaley on a low block. Jare Blunt, one bounce on the block. He'll lay it up and in. Make it a 9 nothing run as the Eagles extend the lead to 40-37. to Well, Ray, Whaley and Blunt going high-low, and, and Blunt just pushing uh, Morgan State defenders, LG, under the basket. On the other end, we get a foul on Jason Whaley. That'll be his first. Team second. It'll be a non-shooting foul. It'll be Bear basketball. 21 to shoot. 12-42 remaining in the ball game. Morgan down three at 40 to 37 as NCCU is on a 9-0 run. Off the inbound. Isaiah Burke. The Morgan State sophomore on the bounce right hand. He'll leave it on the wing, right wing. David Sifax hands off Stanley Davis. Cross court Baxter, he's open for three. Takes it, strokes it. Troy Baxter buries the ball. For Troy, his third tray of the day. We're tied at 40 and 40. Yeah, he's much more comfortable now taking that shot in rhythm, shooting a much better percentage over the last few games. Other end, Eagles, Devin Palmer controls. Palmer bounce pass in the paint. Jason Whaley on a little block for Jabri Blount. A whistle, a hat. Will work against Morgan. Stops the clock with 12:09 remaining in the ball game. Going to get Troy Baxter, number two on the junior. 15 foul on Morgan. He Baxter didn't need that foul there because he had Blunt pushed out 10, 12 feet from the basket. Let him catch it there because now you can man him up. Eagles going to inbound. Perkins off the entry controls. Baseline right on the dribble left hand. Perkins to the cup. Lays it up left hand. It goes. Gets the bucket. Draws the foul. 
hoop and the harm for the Greensboro Junior. Jordan Perkins on his way to the free throw line. He'll look to complete the three-point play. Another personal against Troy Baxter. Back-to-back -back personals against the Morgan Junior. 16 foul on Morgan. Perkins will be at the strike. But Davis, as he's checking out the game and um, Campbell checking in for him, he allowed Perkins to turn the corner to his left hand into the middle of the floor. You got to make him go back to his weak hand because every time he goes left, something positive's happened for the Eagles. Misses the free throw. Bears board. Morgan comes back the other way down the deuce. 42-40 is the Eagle lead. 11-58 remaining in the ball game. Now they're in orange and blue. Go to work. Malik Miller controls. That's the sophomore. He'll give it up for Isaiah Burke on the bounce right hand. Burke off away from the wing right side. We're going to get an illegal screen. On Morgan State, Lajio Granson. Granson picks up the personal. It's number two on the Morgan Junior. Seventh team foul. Bears have the Eagles in the bonus for the balance of the ball game. With 11:47 remaining in the ball game, we are going to get a timeout. As we get a timeout, your score: North Carolina Central 42, Morgan State 40. Back right after this, you're listening to Morgan State University Radio and watching the BAC Digital Network on Flow Hoops. Come together, fight for equality, and level. They're pounding that rock inside the blunt. And the half-court Eagles go to work up top. Jason Whaley to kick to Perkins. Top of the key on the bounce left hand. Cross court skip. Fennell. Nick. Ball above it. He'll dribble the paint. Down the lane. Stops. Has the ball stripped and stolen. He's walking with the rock. Is Nick Fennell. Got no lands land. Turns it over. It'll be Bear basketball. Morgan will inbound, come back the other way, looking to erase a two-point deficit with a walk-up. Morgan operates in the half court. Towers Malik really Campbell, baseline, Lazio Granson. Around the perimeter, Isaiah Burke controls. Between the circles on the bounce left hand, he'll give it up Malik Miller. The Morgan State sophomore goes back to Burke, baseline, up top Miller, around the perimeter, Baxter. Troy on the bounce left hand. He'll feed the wing. Towers to Lee Campbell. Freshman for three off target. Side of the rim, no good. Rebound, a whistle, a foul. Off the rebound, a push. Going to work against the Eagles. Believe they're going to get NCCU's Devin Palmer for the person. No, they're going to Jabri Blunt for the person. Jabri picks up number three. Third team foul on NCCU. But. Central going to the 2-3 zone. Not a good shot selection by the freshman Chapman on that possession. Baseline Burke, three on the way. Wide rim won't go in. Rebound. Jabri Blount, here come the Eagles. Right to left, looking to build the two-point lead. Jordan Perkins on the bounce right hand. He'll feed, down low, Jason Whaley. One bounce in the block. He'll lay it up, lays it in. Jason Whaley with a six-point Monday night. Eagles up four. 44-40, 10-45 remaining in the party. Other in Bears. Taj Malik Campbell goes baseline. Up top, Isaiah Burke on the bounce right hand. Burke controls. He'll go right wing for Miller. Back up top, Burke. Ten to shoot. Right wing, Miller. Miller goes back up top. Six to shoot. Isaiah Burke. Burke on the bounce. You get a whistle, a bump, a hack. Late in the shot clock. Going to work against the Eagles. Going to get Nick Fennell. Picks up the personal. That's number one on Nick. Fourth team foul on the Eagles. Non-shooting foul. Bears will inbound with 10-21 remaining in the ball game. Malik Miller will trigger in the entry for Morgan State. Bears go to work in the half court. Up top, Lagio Granson. Grants it between the circles. Goes right wing. Isaiah Burke, 10 to shoot. Swings it around the perimeter for Malik Miller. Baseline, three ball, rims out, won't go. Rebound, Lazio Grants and a whistle on the foul. Going to work against Jason Whaley. Picks up his second. Team's fifth. The central content now that they've got the lead the last couple possessions. is fall back into this 2-3 zone. Morgan able to get the offensive board, but they've, they've got to get some something going towards the basket. Malik Miller looks to inbound off the entry. The ball stripped and stolen by Devin Palmer. The Eagles almost turned it back over. Palmer retrieves. He has it baseline. He'll feed down low Perkins. He'll lay it up. Won't go. 
Rebound corralled by the Bears. Orange and blue left to right. Morgan on the move. Baseline Malik Miller. Quick move. Baseline right. Miller in the lane. Miller lays it up. It goes. Gets the bucket. Draws the foul. Acrobatic and one for Malik Miller. Sophomore on his way to the strike. Looks to complete the three-point play. Well, Miller loves the baseline, LG. Split two defenders down there. He's like the, the rubber band man. He just bounces off of people, able to finish. He's got a chance to close this gap to one point if he can convert from the free throw line. Malik Miller, just his fourth point on the night, to cut the gap to a deuce. Fresh are the sophomore. And we'll take and, well, can't make the free throw. Rims out, no good. Bears filled down a deuce at the 9.42 mark. Second half. With the rebound, Eagles with the walk-up, Jordan Perkins. Operates in the half-court, surveys the landscape in that half-court set. He's on the bounce right hand. Operates on the wing right side. Reverses his field, goes left wing, fields a low block, throws it up, throws it in. Evan Claiborne with his first deuce of the evening. Eagles up forward, 46-42. Well, they got Burke on a switch with Perkins in the pick and roll, able to get Whalen under the rim. On the other end, Taz Malik Campbell with the runner right hand and won't go. Rebound Eagles. They got a four-point lead. They got the rock looking to build the margin as we approach nine minutes remaining in regulation. Jordan Perkins on the bounce right hand operates between the circles. Perkins top of the key, feeds the wing. Ty Grace, catch and shoot triple. That's an air ball. Rebound Morgan. Left to right, Morgan on the move. Malik Miller in the half court on the bounce right hand. He'll switch left. Miller operates top of the key, swings to the left wing, Isaiah Burke. Morgan State sophomore going to pose with the pill on the wing left side. He'll go up top, Malik Miller. Miller hands off, Lagio grants it. The kick to Burke. Burke dribbles the bank down the lane. He throws it up, blocked by Evan Claiborne. Gets his own. Burke controls, only five to shoot. Deep three ball, Lagio grants it. Grants it, drops the triple from the parking lot. Three ball falls for Lagio grants it. Morgan climbs to within one at 46-45. Well, he's got that kind of range, and he was faced up, feet set, locked and loaded. Top of the key, three, Jabri, no good. Ball out of bounds. Last touch by Morgan. It'll be NCCU basketball. Eagles will inbound with 16 to shoot, 8-0-4, remaining in the ball game. You got to watch Blunt. He's right in front of the ball on his inbound. What's Central trying to get the ball him deep into the post? Off the entry, Jabri Blunt. Off the bounce left hand. He'll feed a cutting Claiborne. A whistle and a and a hack That's or a, a travel. travel. I thought it was a travel. Uh, we're looking for a call. No, they're going to call a foul, not a travel. Going to get Lazio Granson, and we're going to get a timeout. Let's step aside. Timeout comes with 7.59 remaining in the ball game. As we step aside, your score. NCCU 46, Morgan State 45. We're back right after this. You're listening to Morgan State Radio, watching the MEAC Digital Network on Flow Hoops. Award-winning faculty and a diverse culture. Morgan State is a national treasure that propels students to excel in their field, become leaders in their community. LG Whalen, he's 6'10, 6'11, isn't he? Uh, yeah, yeah, I think at least. Uh, that's what I'm guessing. Hey, Dre, I'm ready to go, man. Oh, no problem, no problem. Welcome back, LG, that's me, you got the coach, Jimmy Fly, we got the basketball bouncing in Baltimore, we got the Eagles, we got the Bears. We got 7.31 remaining in the ball game. North Carolina Central 48, Morgan State 47, Central got the basketball and the one-point lead. Jordan Perkins on the pump, left hand, 
Operates between the circles. Dribbles around the perimeter. Feeds baseline. Jabri Blanc lays it up left hand. It goes for Jabri. He drops the deuce, extends the lead to three at 50 to 47. That was a set play. They set a cross screen to free Blunt up against Grandison, and he was late coming across the lane. Blunt posting up. A sweet 16 on this Monday night for Jabri Blunt, other end Morgan. Bears control down three at 50 to 47. Stanley Davis along the baseline. A whistle, an offensive foul on Stanley Davis. He just had nowhere to go. Tried to get there anyway. They tried to go through a player to get there. Going to get the player control on Stanley Davis, his first. But if you're Morgan State's defense, you you got to know that they're going to try to get that ball to Blunt on the block. you got to watch these screens fight through them. With the walk up, Jordan Perkins operates in the half court. Perkins on the bounce right hand, sets up shop on the wing, right side. Jordan Perkins dribbles the paint. Inside the arc, bounce pass baseline, Jabri Blunt. Spin move along the baseline. Blunt lays it off glass. Won't go, but a whistle. Gonna get a hat beneath the rack. Gonna work against Lazio Granson. The Morgan Jr. picks up the personal for Granson. That'll be his fourth. Jabri Blunt will be at the free throw line where he is six of eight on the night. Looking to extend what is the three point lead for the Eagles. But that's the chess match with Coach Moten there. They use the cross screen, the cross screen, the last possession to free Blunt. This time they bring him up to the high post and have him set a ball screen and then free him up again on the right block where the defender's pinned on his back and then he can go to work. Bears going to bring in Jamar Brown, probably going to put him on Blunt on the block. Well, if you're going to play behind beef. him, yes, exactly. He's got more size, more strength that he can hold his ground. Blunt, one of two from the free throw line. Second toss and miss, rebound. Morgan State, Stanley Davis, orange and blue, walk it up, work to do. Down four. 51 47. That's the Eagle lead. Morgan with the basketball with 6 20 remaining in the ball game. In the half court, Burke, right wing. Devin is Prince. Safin, Stanley Davis, back to STP. Spot up, 10 footer. Grips out, no good. Rebound to Reed Blunt. Here come the Eagles. Looking to build the four point cushion. For the walk up, Jordan Perkins operates in the half court on the bounce right hand. We slip inside of six minutes remaining in the party. On the wing left side, Devin Palmer up top, Blunt, right wing, Ty Graves. Skip pass for Devin Palmer. Devin on the bar, left hand, a whistle, a travel on Devin Palmer. Picked up the pivot foot, he'll turn it over to be Bear basketball. That's one of the few miscues he's made all night because he's been red hot for the Eagles all game long. Other end Morgan. Sherwin Devin is Prince controls in the half court. He'll feed Isaiah Burke. Burke controls on the wing right side. Top shelf. Mike Miller. Miller right of the lane. Miller feeds Sherwin Devin his print. Deep three ball. Oh, bottom for SDP. Drops the three. Morgan climbs to within 51-50. Big bomb for Sherwin Devin his print with 526 remaining in the ball game. Other end Eagles. Jordan Perkins, free throw line, picks up the pill, looks for help. Perkins feeds the wing, Ty Grace steps inside the arc. He'll spot up, his 15-footer off target. Rebound Mike Miller, going to the Bears left to right. Miller on the move, operates in the half court. Miller has it on the wing left side. Miller will feed Isaiah Burke. Burke between the circles, gives it up to Miller. On the wing left side, Miller around the perimeter. Malik goes right wing for Isaiah Burke. Burke feeds the baseline, Jamar Brown. Big boy with the bounce left hand. His runner won't go. Rebound, Malik Miller. He'll put it back up and in. Malik Miller with the deuce. Morgan reclaims the lead at 52-51. We have 441 remaining in the ball game. The Browns post presence allows Miller and Davis to slide on that baseline, find some openings on the offensive glass. Gonna get a timeout. Lavelle Moten, the head man in charge of the Eagles, wants to talk it over with the fellas. We'll keep it right here. Four and a half remaining in the party. Morgan State, North Carolina Central. Two teams hanging out near the top of the MEAC stack. Both of them want to stay there. We got a one point guard with ball game, Coach Jimmy Fly. Morgan 52, NCCU 51. Well, it just feels like one of those games. It's going to go 15 rounds. It's going to whoever has the ball on that last possession and somebody's going to come up big. The name Blunt and Palmer comes to mind for the Eagles. And then on our, uh, Morgan State side of it, you know, Baxter, you got Davis, 
You got a bunch of people. It's been a long and winding road for Morgan against North Carolina Central. NCCU has defeated Morgan 11 consecutive times. Morgan State just comes up short every time they step on the floor against these Eagles the last five years, looking to see if they can turn the table tonight. Still got work to do. Got 4.33 remaining in the ball game. The Morgan lead is one at 52-51 over NCCU. But the last six, seven of those games, LG, Central was never pushed like they're being pushed right now. They had comfortable margins, able to finish games off easily. This is a one-point game. It's a dog fight. It's anybody's ball game. Who's going to command the basketball on that low post? The defensive rebound and limiting your opponent to one shot, that's going to be big coming down the stretch. When they played a year ago, just played once, all central, all night. They beat Morgan 92-64. to 64. With four and a half remaining in this one, Morgan has a one-point lead at 52-51. Off the timeout. Let's get back to the hardwood. It'll be Eagle basketball. NCCU goes to work in the half court. On the bounce left hand, Jordan Perkins feeds the free throw last to Bree Blunt. Blunt one dribble on the block. He'll lay it up, walk over the whistle. Got to get a hack beneath the hole. Works against Morgan. I believe David Syfax will pick up the personal. Yeah, the Morgan senior picks up the foul. His first team's 10. The problem Blunt presents for the Morgan State defense is if you try to front him without help, they're going to lob it over the top. You play behind him, he gets a catch on the block as he misses another free throw. They had it defended right there. Syfax held his ground, but this guy is physical when he gets into you because they had Baxter coming from the weak side, LG. That, if that foul's not called, he erases that shot attempt. Nick Fennell out of the game. Jason Whaley back on the floor for North Carolina Central. Whaley with four personal fouls. Meanwhile, Jabri Blunt, one of two from the free throw line. Missed the first, made the second. Jabri Blunt has 18 points on the night. We are brand new, all tied at 52 and 52. On the other end, Morgan goes to work. A cut it. David Syfax had it right beneath the hole, but lost the handle. Pass was there. Syfax couldn't handle it. That's a turnover. It'll be Eagle basketball. They come back the other way, looking to break a 52 52 tie. He had the central defense beat. That's what they're looking for back cuts. But that's what I'm talking about this last four minutes, LG. Execution. For either side, you've got to execute if you're going to win this ball game. In the half court, Eagles go to work. On the low post, that's Devin Palmer. Palmer carves out some space beneath the bucket. His turnaround layup, no good. A whistle, a foul beneath the rack. Works with 3.56 remaining in the ball game. This will be against the Eagles. We are going to get a timeout. A timeout going to come against Jason Whaley, and I think that's his fifth. I think Whaley is done for the day. Indeed, that is his fifth. We're going to step aside. We get a timeout. 3.56 remaining in the party. It's Morgan. It's North Carolina Central. You're watching. Miniac Digital Network on Flow Sports, Morgan State University Radio. Save you 15% or more on car insurance. Okay, okay. I can't believe it. I've been playing 4 on 4 with a barbershop quartet. Pass the ball, pass the rock. We're open, just pass the ball. Nah, I can't believe how easy it was to save hundreds of dollars on my car insurance with Geico. Yeah. Shoot the J. Shoot the J. Believe it. Geico could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Okay, okay. I can't believe it. I've been playing 4 on 4 with a barbershop quartet. Pass the ball, pass the rock. We're open, just pass the ball. Nah, I can't believe how easy it was to save. Take save on the second toss. He'll take it to miss it. Back rim, no good. Rebound, Jabri Blunt. Back to the way come the Eagles. They're down one, but they have the basketball. 3.52 remaining in the ball game. Here come the Eagles. Jordan Perkins with the walk-up. He'll hand off Ty Graves. The give to Devin Palmer. Dunk pass, Jabri Blunt. Quick move to the cup. He'll go baseline with it for Jordan Perkins. Perkins has it on the wing right side. Didn't shoot on the bounce right hand. Right of the lane. 
Perkins goes cross court skip for Graves. Graves with five to shoot. Quick move, baseline left. Step back. Gonna get a whistle, gonna get a hack. Didn't have anywhere to go, so he drew contact. He got Stanley Davis in the air and just planted himself under Davis to get the foul. For Davis, the second. Teams in the double bonus. Ty Graves will be at the stripe looking to break the tie for the NCCU Eagles. He'll be shooting two. Well, that's just smart basketball by Graves, getting Davis off the floor and then getting a chance to uh, put Central in the lead. Ty takes, Ty makes the free throw. Ty Graves from Greensboro, North Carolina, the transfer from St. Louis, the former Billiken, also had a brief pit stop at Boston College before making his way to North Carolina Central. He can break the 53-53 tie. Takes it, makes it. Two for two from the free throw line for Ty Graves. The Eagle lead, a deuce, a one at 54-53. Clock says 328 remaining in this bad boy. Morgan State, North Carolina Central. Bears with the walk up down by one. And Central getting Claiborne to 6 6 4 back in the game. And a half quarter cutting. Troy Baxter, his slam blocked by Evan Claiborne. Rebound NCCU. They come back the other way. And a half court, Jordan Perkins operates on the bounce with the right hand. We approach three minutes remaining in regulation. Eagles up one. NCCU with the rock. Perkins around the perimeter. Jordan picks up the pill. Looks for help, feeds the wing, Nick Fennell. Ten to shoot. Fennell on the bounce, right hand. Up top, Devin Palmer. Palmer on the dribble with the left hand, top of the key. Three, back rim, no good. Rebound, Sherwin Devin is French. Here comes Morgan. Stanley Davis to the cup. He'll add up and in. Stanley Davis delivers. Morgan up one at 55, 54, 236 remaining in the ball game. Well, Davis gave him the fake Euro step left and gave him the Euro step to the right with the finish. Other end, Eagles. Perkins, top of the circle on the bounce, right hand. Jordan Perkins operates on that wing with 10 seconds to shoot. He'll leave it for Jabri Blanc. Blanc makes a move, baseline right, to the cup. He'll add up, it won't go. Rebound loose, controlled by Morgan. Retrieved by the Eagles. Nick Fennell misses it, rebound Eagles. We get the Eagles with the rock with two minutes remaining in the ball game. They turn it over. Bears get the pill. Morgan with the walk up with a minute 55 remaining in regulation. Bears go to work in the half court. Sherwin Devin is Prince controls. We're going to get a timeout. Kevin Brodus, head coach Morgan, and a raucous Hillfield House gets a timeout with a minute 48 remaining in a barn burner. Bears up one, 55-54. LG, that was like a rugby scrub going on down there trying to get the ball. Central had two or three chances if they could have secured it to get a layup. Morgan State able to dig it out. That's what I talked about. Meeting force with force, playing physical, who wants it more? This is a great ball game for college basketball and for Flow Hoops tonight. Sets the tenor for what's going to happen a month from now in Norfolk, Virginia. MEAC tournament time approaches. These two teams like to think they're going to be vying for tournament championship honors. Look at the jockey for position with still six, seven games left on their respective regular season schedules. This is the only meeting in the regular season between Morgan State and North Carolina Central. So should there be any tiebreakers come tournament seeding time, this would be the tiebreaker. So a pivotal game between the Eagles and the Bears. No question. And David Syfax check just checking in during a timeout. I think he's coming in for Lazio Grandison. Uh, Central, that was a huge uh, move by Coach Moten to get Claiborne in on that last possession because Baxter uh, would have had a smaller guy on him. He'd have dunked all over him, but Claiborne able to affect the back cut and save the basket, which is big coming down the stretch. Morgan State, out of these timeouts, LG, they like to set up back cuts especially with Baxter on the weak side because if he gets ahead of steam going to the rim, he's going to get this crowd off its feet. Off timeout, we get back to the hardwood and the Bay Bear basketball. The lead is one. Morgan 55, Central 54. Morgan with the basketball. David side facts on the bounce right hand. He'll hand off. Stanley Davis, top of the key. The kick to Troy Baxter, eight to shoot. Baseline Malik Miller. Quick move, baseline left. A reach, a whistle, a hack. 
Trying to get Devin Palmer for the person. His second. His third, actually. Team's eighth in the one and one. Malik Miller will be at the free throw line. The Morgan State sophomore will be shooting one plus one. Both teams going offense, defense. Graves coming in for Central, replacing Claiborne, and Grandison coming in defensively uh, for Syfax for Morgan State. Malik Miller steps to the line where he is a 65% stroker on the season. He is 0 for 1 from the strike tonight. The sophomore takes aim on the front end of the 1-1. One and one. He'll take it and miss it. Rebound poked out of bounds. Last touch by Morgan. It'll be Eagle basketball. NCCU will inbound, come back the other way. They're down one, but they have the basketball with a minute 33 remaining in regulation. Well, you got to dig in and you got to watch Blunt. Looks like they have him up high. They'll probably try a high ball screen and then get him rolling to the rim. Devin Palmer controls in the half court. He'll give it up to Reed Blunt. Around the perimeter, Jordan Perkins. Perkins on the bounce, left hand. Jordan dribbles the paint. Jordan in the lane. He'll pick up the pill. Feeds a cutting. Nick Finnell. Reverse layup is good by Nick Finnell. That's his first deuce of the night. Eagles reclaim the lead at 56-55. Central runs those back cuts just as well as Morgan does. They caught him sleeping. On the other end, Bears go to work. Stanley Davis kicks it baseline open. Three, Granson rims out. No good. Big miss that time. We get a reach and a whistle. Jump ball. Alternate arrow points to Morgan. It'll be Bear basketball. Big by Malik Miller to tie that up. Possession error in their favor. Save a possession with 52 seconds left. There's probably a handful of possessions left at this point. Bears are going to inbound. Morgan down one at 56-55. Morgan, two timeouts left. Central, one timeout left. 52 seconds left. One point separation. Look for Baxter on a, on a, either lob to the rim or getting him cut into the rim. Going to reset the shot clock at 30 as Bears inbound beneath the bucket. Stanley Davis off the entry. Sherwin, Devin is Prince. Morgan State sophomore on the dribble left hand. He'll feed Dwayne Davis around the perimeter. He'll feed Troy Baxter. Baxter on the bounce with the left hand. The junior will give it up. Lazio grants it. Hands off to Miller. Right wing Baxter. Troy for three. Brick, no good. Ball out of bounds. Last touch. An eagle touch. It'll be Bear basketball. They're going to look at this one again because possession is crucial, critical. They're going to take a peek to see who last touched it, who the possession belongs to. The ruling on the floor was Morgan basketball, so they're going to have to see something clear to reverse it and give it to the Eagles to make it Eagle basketball. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure from what I can see. I'm, I'm thinking that went off a Morgan State player, but the officials are closer to the action than we are. But either way, a one-point game, However this goes, if Morgan has it, they'll have it under their basket. They got a chance right now to use this as a timeout to set up a play. If, or if they got to go on defense, are you going to just play defense for one possession and hope that you can stop them and have five seconds left on the clock? So they got to decide whether they're going to foul if Central maintains possession. They've taken a peek at the monitor, and now they're taking a second peek, I guess, just to make sure uh, which way they're going to go with this one. Again, the original ruling, Morgan basketball, but it could have been the other way. They're taking a look to see if, in fact, it's central basketball. Coach Moten's taking a look, too. He's sneaking over there trying to get an angle. With only 35 seconds left, obviously, this is crucial. Who has the rock in a one-point ball game? Central up 56-55. Looked at one point, they made a decision. Then they went back to look at it again. I guess just to make doubly sure. And uh, you got Lavelle Maybe. Bowden right there over the shoulder, lobbying his cause. Uh, both coaches anxiously awaiting the decision as to which way they're going to go with this one. Again, the original, the original, yes, the original call on the floor was against. Central and in favor of Morgan. And now at this point, let's see if they're going to keep it with Morgan basketball as the Bears are looking to see if they can maintain possession uh, here with 35 seconds remaining in regulation. Well, you got Syfax in for Baxter on this possession. Off the dribble, Bears go to work. 
On the bounce, right hand, Sherwin Devin is Prince. Feeds the wing, Malik Miller. Up top, STP. Left wing, Davis. We're going to get a timeout, Kevin Brodus. Morgan State's head coach. One set, little something, something up. With nine seconds on the shot clock. I think they risen because they put Syfax in for back. So I think they wanted to post Syfax up on the uh, side of the floor close to the bench, but they reversed the ball over here to the right side of the floor. By the time they got it back over there, they chewed up a lot of clock, LG. There's only nine seconds left now. You got to inbound it and make a decision quick. We'll see what Morgan State comes up with. That's because Jimmy Fly, me, I'm LG. Got a little hoop happening on a MEAC Monday. The Bears, the Eagles, and a tight one. Can't get much tighter. One-point lead for North Carolina Central at 56-55. Morgan has the basketball with 23 seconds remaining in regulation. And off the timeout, only nine seconds on the shot clock. And LG backs are back in for Grandison now. So you got Syfax and Grandison uh, uh, backs, excuse me, the two bigs in for Morgan. Syfax controls off the entry. He'll give it up. Malik Miller, five to shoot. Miller on the bounce, left hand. Miller to the top, lays it up and in. Malik Miller with the finish. Morgan reclaims the lead at 57-56 with 15 seconds remaining in the ball game. Eminem with the finish. Malik Miller to the cup. Morgan with the one point lead. We get a timeout with 15 seconds remaining in regulation. Morgan up one. It'll be North Carolina Central possession. The rubber band man coming through again. He missed the free throw earlier this time. He made up for it. They ran a dribble handoff with Syfax to Miller, but he was patient. He waited for the Red Sea to park. Syfax cleared. There was no help going down the middle, and he sliced and diced like he does all the way to the rack. Great play by the sophomore. The joint is jumping on a MEAC Monday. The Bears, the Eagles, with 15.1 remaining in the ball game. Yeah, Morgan State, they had six players on the floor. Coach Broad has recognized that he had to get Campbell, the freshman, back to the bench. Eagles will inbound. Gonna inbound and have to negotiate the entire length of the floor. You gotta help out on Blunt. Grandison right now matched up on Blunt on that right block. No shot clock, 15 seconds left. Eagles down one. Here we go. Eagles with the rock. Devin Palmer with the walk up. 10 seconds remaining in the game. Palmer down the lane. Palmer turns it over. He'll feed Nick Fennell. Fennell goes baseline. Layup by Jabri Blunt. Gives the Eagles the lead with two seconds remaining in the game. We're going to get a timeout. The Eagles had the ball bounce their way as there was chaos on the offensive end. The ball was loose, picked up by the Eagles. Blunt all alone beneath the bucket. He laid it in with only 2.2 remaining in regulation. Morgan has to go the whole length of the floor. Down one at 58-57. Yeah, that was a bad break for the Bears. They had a chance to get that ball and close this game out. But Grandison, he lost sight of Blunt. He was going after the ball. Blunt, I told you, he's hanging around the rim. And he's just standing there with an uncontested layup. I mean, that's a heartbreaker if Morgan State's going to lose this one on that play. But they still have time. 2.2 seconds, they, LG. They may even put some more time up. I think they're checking now, Coach, to see if they're going to tack on any additional time. But, yeah, 2.2 is what it reads right now. That's all that's left. Morgan down one, 58-57. Well, that 2.2, you still have time for a catch, a dribble, and a heave. But you're going to have to throw a long baseball pass to get the ball into the front court. Um, I would be looking to try to get the ball to Baxter because if i got to throw it high, he can go up and get it, turn, catch, and get a three-point shot off. Here we go. 2.2. They're going to leave that on the clock. Morgan has the basketball. They have to go the entire length of the floor. They're down one. Eagles, 58. Bears, 57. Stanley Davis to inbound. He'll run the baseline. Inbounds to Baxter. Baxter with the heave at the horn. Almost went down. Wow. Side of the rim, off target. Eagles come on the road 
they get it done. And a barn burner, North Carolina Central holds on and holds off Morgan. The final is in. From Hillfield House, South Campus, Morgan State University, North Carolina Central, 58. Morgan State, 57. With the loss, the Bears slip to 13 and 13 overall, 7 and 4 in the almighty MEAC. Eagles improved to 12 and 12. NCCU 8-2 in the mid Eastern Athletic Conference. Just that close. That's all it took. Eagles got the conversion on their end. Morgan could not counter punch. Eagles get out of the gym with the win. But that's that championship pedigree that Central brings into this type of game. Their program has been in these games year after year. So their mental makeup is we know how to get it done. They didn't panic coming down the stretch when they needed a big play. We said it would come down to the last possession. It did. And Blunt, the Hall of Fame son of Mel Blunt, our Pittsburgh guy, he came through big and put the dagger in the hearts of Morgan State fans this evening. 20 points, six of 12 from the field, eight of 12 from the free throw line for Jabri Blount to lead all scores. 17 point night for Devin Palmer. He was big, particularly in the first half for NCCU. For Morgan, a couple of players in double figures. Troy Baxter with 12, Malik Miller with 10. Troy Baxter with the heave at the horn, fell a little bit shy of going down. So Morgan indeed, they go down to the Eagles of NCCU by final count 